What is up, my friends? Thank you for joining me. Jesse here at Just Man Sports Cards. Gonna do a Michael Jordan video comparing two cards. Um, entertainment value here, just stuff I geek out on, not investment advice. Uh, at Card Ladder, um, one of my favorite apps to price cards. Came over to the compare section. We'll collapse that. Typed in the two cards that I want to compare. Um, and I'll go through how I feel. I'll reveal everything that I own. Um, I'll be straight up. Scoring Kings uh, in the Meltdown. You can see from the the title picture, a better picture of these cards. Uh, this is maybe not the best picture of it. This is an amazing card in hand. It's probably one of Jordan's most iconic cards. Um, this one is definitely catching on the Meltdown. These are catching on quite well, too. Um, I own both. Uh, so <laughs> I'm a fan of both. Uh, I think about these cards. I, and uh, so I own one uh, PSA 8 of the Jordan um, Scoring Kings. I bought it for, I bought it rate when I got back in the hobby. So I got it like three years ago. You can do all time on this. Um, so yeah, I got it for like five fifty, six hundred, something like that is what I paid for it. Uh, I went through its thing and it's, it's still above that. It's came down. Um, the pop report on these, you can see here, uh, this is for eight, the nines go for just a lot of money. Um, it's grown quite a bit over the last two years. It, it's starting to flatten out here um, the last four months. I mean, I guess even in the last four months, it's picked up 50 cards, which is a lot. And I think that's just uh, part of what's created the downward pressure on it. It's just supply and demand. Um, if these dip below 600... I know it's expensive, but I, I wouldn't be afraid to pick up another or to maybe go after a nine. The nines have gotten ridiculous. So I pulled up both of these. Uh, you can see a big price difference between the eights, almost a doubling and almost a doubling here. What I also like to pay attention to is scarcity. Uh, here you see a lot lower pop. Um, Part of that is going to be due to price. As the price goes up, everyone's going to be submitting everything uh, just because there's a, a better chance that you're going to recoup. Um, but 184, that's a lot less. I think in, and then, uh, so they've done about the same in the last two years. You can look at this kind of messy graph. And then I'm going to go into the other things that I look at. But there's a big population difference. So it is the demand for the scoring team Kings three times the amount of the meltdown at double the price. And that's what the current market is saying. Uh, and what I'm thinking, I have one, I have two, let me see. I have one PSA 7 that I graded myself, two PSA 8s that I graded myself, and I bought a PSA 8. Um, and I bought the PSA 8 in the $400 range. So it's, it's came down since then. Uh, so then learning from what I've learned from the hobby, look at the set it came from. How rare is the pull? 1 in 36 packs. Uh, 10 cards. So you get basically one in 10 boxes. How much are the boxes? It comes in series one. These boxes uh, jump around in price. PWCC never does well in, in auctions. Uh, 360. Um, I actually opened one of these boxes on the channel. I pulled a Larry Johnson. Um, it created a nine. I sold it to a viewer on the channel. Uh, very smart viewer to snatch it up for me. Uh, 
paid at fair market value at the time, and that nine has done very well. You can see what I was looking at earlier, status. Uh, so these hover around 360 to 500. And then you can come look at what I would call the flow, what is actually available at on the market right now. Um, and I think there was just a lot. This is not the right product. There was a decent amount of this product making, or quite a bit actually. 93 was one of the super mass produced years of the hobby. So I think these cards are gonna keep coming. Uh, you can look at Skybox Premium, which is the meltdown. Um, these insert odds, this is what's stated, but I've opened I opened one of these on the channel, and then I've opened probably four boxes in total. You get a meltdown per box. Uh, so it's one in 36. Ten. So same ratio. You get one per, if you're aiming for the Jordan, you get one in ten. Um, this lineup's maybe a little, not quite as strong as the scoring kings you got david robinson which is strong shaquille akeem and then jason kidd grant hill i guess too and then on the scoring kings charles barkley patrick ewing michael jordan carl malone who uh, doesn't have a strong hobby alonzo yeah so the scoring kings is a little stronger set so that's going to help support that wax price Anyways, Skybox Premium. Um, these have really dried up. Uh, you can see one was been for three seventy, um, a cheap one last year. Uh, I don't think this is capturing everything just because of how it's it's worded. Uh, but then you can go over to the flow. Um, from my experience, these go for about for about like. Right around 300 at auction. Um, I watch them and I'm a buyer if they get cheap enough. I own two boxes of wax of this. I'm, I'm a believer in it. If it gets cheap enough. So there's not many. There's, and here's another box at close to 500. The other thing about this box is it has the Jordan Electro Pies in it. Not many people know that. Um, you can do your own research of how many you get. Uh, they're not going to all come out pristine, but that's a pretty valued card too. So I think this wax is going to hold strong. Um, and here's the box. And then 95, I think, is also important to remember. That's Garnett's rookie year. His stuff really hasn't taken off, um, but he does has uh, the high hopes insert in this. Uh, which is a pretty cool rookie card. Um, then base, and I'm trying to think if he has another. So the high hopes is his insert on this one. That's the chase card. It hasn't taken off yet. If it does eventually, that will also help price. So anyways, it comes back to here, and it's like, buy what you like. Um, I like both cards. I own both cards. But to me, is is the price right? Uh, and is there an opportunity for yourself um, when you're watching auctions, when you're seeing how many are coming to market? Is this price going to hold? Is this going to hold? Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? Uh, where do you want to kind of sneak in? Um, they just give an example at the nines. They they get two thousand. It's it's not crazy, but that's not a card everyone's going to go after. And then the nines on the meltdown are are really rare. People are catching on here. Um, look at this pop. 57. People know. The, the right people know. <laughs> Every one of you. That. Uh, nine. 57 compared to 283. Yeah. So to me, uh, I've had this discussion with some other hobby people, and I, I think this is going to close in gap. A lot of people don't think so. What do you guys think? Gals, uh, if there's any gals watching the channel, 
Um, I enjoy people geeking out with this on me. Uh, this is my small opportunity to do so. Anyways, I uh, hope everyone's having a, a great week. Um, feel free to like and subscribe. Subscribing really helps me support that you guys enjoy this content and want to see more of it. Uh, there's a card ladder affiliate link in the down below. If you want to sign up for card ladder, I really like it. Um, and then I'll do links to the boxes and the cards as well, affiliate links. So I will catch everyone later.